Thank you so much for a great discussion. Appreciate you guys being in, in studio or virtually. It's always a pleasure to have our universities join together. Before we wrap up the day, we have a quick video that shows the importance of our sector, not just to Indiana's economy, but to the health of people all over the world. In 2020, more than $11.4 billion of products were exported from the state, the second highest in the U.S. Life sciences account for more than $192,000 of output per worker, the highest amount ever recorded. In addition, Indiana life sciences startups garnered a record level of venture capital investment with more than $262 million committed to 44 companies, including MBX, Kyoto Biosciences, and Wishbone Medical. 92 new products gained approval from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Bio Crossroads Indiana Seed Funds 1, 2, and 3 totaled $24 million and have invested in 32 Indiana companies. Those companies have gone on to raise another $796.5 million. And our community steps up in time of need. Roach Diagnostics COVID-19 PCR Diagnostic Test approved and on the market in a matter of weeks. Eli Lilly and Company's quick partnership to develop and secure emergency use authorization for a monoclonal antibody treatment, in addition to their remarkable efforts to assist the state with testing. Catalyst Scale Up to manufacture the COVID-19 vaccine for Moderna and Johnson & Johnson. Covinson's acceleration of COVID-19 test processing capacity, or several others who modified their normal manufacturing to PPE and other necessary equipment for the pandemic. Indiana's life sciences industry makes medical breakthroughs that impact Hoosiers and people all over the world every day. I'd like to thank all of our speakers and especially Chris Kirchner for joining us today, again this year as our host. And I'd like to thank all of you for joining us. I'd like to thank our sponsors just one last time. And finally, I'd like to give a shout out to the Bio Crossroads team who are here with me in studio, um, especially Joe Beth Zimmerman, Erica Embry, and the Department of Created for do dozens of hours to work to produce this three hour show. We hope you've enjoyed it. We've recorded all of the sessions and they will be posted on our website as soon as possible. And a shout out to the BioCrossroads team who continues to do important work and keeps the Indiana life sciences sector moving forward. We're looking forward to seeing you all in person sometime soon. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for joining us for the Virtual Indiana Life Sciences Summit 2021. We hope to see you next year in person.